Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a Valentine's Day makeup look. So it's gonna be something more like fresh. Um, obviously full glam because I'm a full glam, full coverage girly. <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best to make it look more fresh. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but just like less heavy and just more skin, but pretty, you know? I don't know. We'll see how this video goes. <laughs> but that's the theme or the vibe that I'm going for. Like just skin, a really pretty eyeshadow look. Nothing too crazy or heavy. So if you guys want to follow along, go ahead and take out your makeup brushes, your makeup, and let's play. First things first, skin. So let's go into my Lawless Forget the Filler um, Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Balm Slash Moisturizer. This stuff is actually really good. I have been using it these past couple of days. I'm also on my period i was like oh my god the lord doesn't love me <laughs> in january i have like this big old zit right here one right here and i whenever i get acne on my face you guys that literally indicates that i'm getting my period pretty soon and what do you know i got my period today so luckily my cold is going away so the eye look is going to be extremely simple so what i'm going to go in you guys instead of going into my urban decay eden primer which is something that i always do i'm gonna go ahead and grab my foundation the w5 true match from l'oreal in the shade w5 i'm just gonna apply it like just like lightly on my lids it literally doesn't have to be perfect i'm just gonna cover my entire lid i'm gonna use my hula light bronzer and this is gonna be our transition shade so it's gonna go all over the lid now to just deepen it up a little bit more you guys i'm gonna go into my supreme nudes palette and i'm gonna go into transit this eyeshadow shade right here and it's gonna go only in the crease but i'm gonna use the exact same brush it's gonna go in right and then for all over the lid, I want to go into like something more like pinky, like a light pink shade all over the lid. I love a nice like deep like bronzy crease. It's like my favorite. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, I'm going to go into just a black matte eyeshadow, you guys. And what I'm going to do is bring it up like that. And I'm using my Ariel times um, Morphe brush. And we're going to basically create like a wing. And then we're gonna go back into transit, you guys, that first, that second shade that we use. And we're just gonna soften this up a little bit. So that way it's not like super, super black. Unless that's the vibe that you wanna go for, then by all means, do you, boo. But I definitely want this eyeshadow look to be really soft. Okay, so I'm gonna use my P. Louise, a world full of wonder palette. And the reason why, you guys, is because I really wanna go into a shade called Silver, Silver Lining this like pinky purpley shade and that's gonna go all over the lid so it, i'm not gonna cut my crease like i usually do with my urban decay eden primer like i want everything to look pretty soft um so i'm just gonna slap it on <laughs> so like i said i'm just gonna slap it on yeah just like that it's gonna look a little weird but i promise it's all gonna blend together really well and you want to just pat the eyeshadow in see how pretty that is oh i love I love, I love, I love. Now that fluffy brush that we used earlier, we're just gonna blend this like that. For mascara today, I'm gonna go into the EXO Cosmetics from Eva XO. I actually really like her mascara, you guys, and I did do a wear test where I wore it for the entire day and it did not flake and it was long lasting. So I was really impressed by it. And it also doesn't give you like spidery um, le legs, spider legs <laughs> with mascaras. Like it really separates your lashes really well without it looking clumpy. So I think she did a really great job with her mascara. Um, and I've been really liking it. Now it's not gonna give you a lift. So just an FYI, I know some girls prefer a mascara that's gonna give you lift and it's gonna stay that way for the rest of the day. This is definitely not it. I just love it again because it doesn't smudge um, and it does last all day. And it didn't transfer on my lids um, or acabajito. Like it literally did such a great job. Um, so lately for my lashes, I've been loving like the outer corner lash recently. So I just cut my um, she chingona lashes in half and I've been using them as corner lashes for the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna go into the new one size. This is their secure, the glow 
tacky hydrating primer so i'm gonna put this on today i actually used this earlier because i did a reel for you guys for instagram um and i actually kind of like it it felt really it's very hydrating on the skin and it feels really cool and soothing obviously no me lo he puesto to wear it out to do a wear test for you guys but i will say that it does feel nice and like oh it feels so good <laughs> it feels really really good you guys know how much i love my hydro primer from milk cosmetics I don't know if this is the same as that oh yeah it has a little bit of a grip you guys see that yeah so it has a little bit of a grip um i personally love primers like this even though i am combo to oily i like primers that are meant to like keep you matte but low-key i really love more like hydrating primers I like to feel more like hydrated and like super dry and matte. Just so weird because I am a combo girly. <laughs> um, but I love this. This feels really good. So for my foundation today, I want to go into something more like lightweight. So I'm going to go into my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I forgot how good this stuff is, you guys. Even lo puse the other day. And I was like, I can't believe I forgot to put this or wear this. But I really like how like thin it feels on the skin and nothing too heavy or cakey. I'm going to apply it with a brush and we're just gonna start to stipple it in i was gonna go into my um true match foundation but i've been really liking this Giorgio armani lately you guys see how you can still see my lunares like i really like foundations like this lately i'm still a full coverage girly don't get me wrong i still love my um nars soft matte foundation that's still my girl but lately i don't know maybe because i'm getting older <laughs> I'm liking more of like a lighter coverage foundation. Yeah, like I love how this foundation feels. It just feels so lightweight. Like I literally feel like I don't have anything on. It feels good. So for concealer, you guys, I'm gonna go into my Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade 2W. And I'm gonna go into this concealer because it just feels most like lightweight. And I... That's what I want. That's what I'm going for today. <laughs> Something more light. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus spray, you guys, to... That way it's easier to blend the concealer. And that way it feels more like skin and not too, like, dry. All right, and now let's blend away. Did you guys buy anything from kim kardashian you guys i didn't buy anything i'm still kind of like thinking if i should crazy right because i love kim <laughs> but i'll be honest i feel like the palette ya la tengo it's nothing like wow you know what i mean so i'm just gonna wait to possibly see what other um makeup she comes out with because i feel like i already have you know i don't know i personally loved when she came out with like her complexion stuff last year or what was it, like three years ago um i loved her concealers they were my favorite and so i'm waiting for like stuff like that you know which i kind of knew she was going to come out with lip stuff i feel like it's just from what i've heard from other beauty influencers it's like those are like the easier things to come out with um so i can definitely see why she did that but i don't know yet i'm still over the fence but, but i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna buy anything just yet like i'm still not like convinced but we'll see <laughs> i'm gonna go into my milk makeup this is their stick bronzer in the shade dazed and we're just gonna apply a very little amount you guys know that i can go in super ham with this because i love bronzer but we're just gonna do a tad bit i might buy like the lip the lipstick and the um, lip liner maybe but the palette i was definitely like uh i feel like my supreme nudes palette is kind of close to that and i also have the makeup by mario palette which kind of gave me that vibe too so that's why i didn't like get on it right away but i am excited that she's back <laughs> because she had great makeup products i'm gonna go into a little bit of cream blush this one's from rare beauty in the shade hope i love rare beauty blushes they're so good the creams they last forever and i think they're just so easy to blend especially if you are new at makeup like you won't have a hard time blending these out now for some translucent powder you guys i'm gonna go into a very little amount so we're not gonna bake we're just gonna pretty much set our, our base and i'm using a puff just pretty much set everything but very lightly we're pretty much pushing the powder into the skin because remember i'm still a oily girly so i still want to make sure i pat down or set my t-zone but i don't want to go too overboard with the powder of course going to my benefit hula light bronzer okay so for my brows i'm gonna go into my anastasia beverly hills this is their brow freeze gel 
So I'm just gonna set my eyebrows with this. I kind of want like a nice lifted brow look today. Nothing too crazy. I like more of a fluffy brow than a more laminated brow. A laminated brow is when it's like flat to the skin and a more fluffy brow is where like you just fluff up your hairs. Either one is fine. I just prefer something more fluffy. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll go in with my brow pencil to fill in any sparse areas. For blush, I'm gonna go into my Givenchy. This is a pink blush and it's called the Mousseline Lilas. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I love it. It's like a nice pinky blush, but it doesn't look that bright. Once you apply it to the skin, it's like a nice soft pinky shade and it's really pretty. You guys see that? Oh, so beautiful. It gives like your cheeks a nice glow. Oh, I love blush. SLC, like I can't live without you guys is blush. So for the eyes, for the bottom, we're gonna keep it super, super simple. I'm gonna go into my Tranquila Nude Liner from um, Tres Luce and I'm gonna apply this in my waterline. Going back to that matte palette, or whatever, Supreme Nudes, we're gonna go back into Transit and then just run it towards the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go into Engrave, this brown shade towards the bottom, and that, you guys, is gonna go right towards the outer corner of the eye. So it's gonna make it look smoky. Like right there, I'm making such weird faces. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into mascara towards the bottom lashes, the same one from EXO Cosmetics. So do you guys see the mascara? Like it really separates the lashes really nicely and it doesn't look cakey or like heavy, which I actually don't mind when mascaras look cakey and heavy and spidery. Like I love that look también. But if you want something that's gonna make your lashes look more natural, more pretty, then you'll really like this mascara. And then I'm gonna go into my Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit, my favorite indie shade. I'm, I'm in a new shade now, you guys. I used to be shade four when my hair was darker, but now I notice that I really like 2.75. And so what I'm gonna do is just pretty much fill in any of these sparse areas in my brows. Okay, so for the lips, I've actually been really liking this Kiss Lip Velvet from Anastasia. It's like a nice pinky shade. And I'm gonna go into my usual my cool brown lip pencil from Anastasia which fun fact I have a big size now if you guys follow me on Instagram mi pobre lapis was like this little she's finally retired I actually don't know where I left her I think I lost her I have a new one now <laughs> thanks to Anastasia shout out to them I got like this massive PR package from them which I'm so grateful for um and I got a new one again I'm gonna go into the shade kiss the lip velvets from Anastasia I really like this color because it's like a pinky shade and it's so pretty. I don't know how some people don't like the new Anastasia lip velvets. Like they are my favorite. Like they're just so good. Okay, now just to like spray some more, <laughs> I'm gonna go into my Fix Plus from MAC. Again, this is not a setting spray, so it's not gonna help the makeup last all day. It's just pretty much gonna let the skin look like skin and look more hydrated. So just so you know, you guys, it's to give the skin a nice glow, hydrating look. Nowhere does this say, or on the website, you say that this is a setting spray. Again, I just wanna make sure you guys know that. <laughs> wow, I'm really loving this lip color from Anastasia. Okay. And there you have it, guys this cute and like not so simple <laughs> makeup look for valentine's day like this is definitely a look that i would wear if i'm going to go out to dinner with my husband which we are actually and i'm so excited um, but i really wanted something to feel more like skin i don't know i'm really loving the way that my makeup looks right now you guys like don't get me wrong i love when we do a full beat and like full coverage moment but i'm also really loving when my skin feels like skin if you guys noticed i didn't apply any highlighter because I feel like my skin's gonna look extremely hydrated right now so I am just not gonna go in even though I'm not gonna go anywhere <laughs> usually you guys know that I always apply highlight but we're gonna actually skip it for today's look because I feel like overall the skin looks juicy it looks hydrated and it just looks so good right now <laughs> that's pretty much it you guys for the look i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys loved this please also give it a thumbs up yes have been all the products that i did use today will be listed down below if you guys are interested in picking anything up and of course if you guys hover hover oh my god i always say that word if you hover over the screen you'll be able to see like a cute little shopping cart if you click that it's like todos los productos van a salir and you guys can shop and it's going to take you to like sephora or ulta or whatever yes i do get commission off that just an fyi but yeah you guys will be able to shop through there or I'll also link the products down below for you guys. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you guys on Monday. I love you. Besitos. Bye.